All right, so this morning we're going to look at starting a fire. And uh, you know, as we talk about fire, we'll remember that there are three components to fire. Sometimes it's referred to as the fire triangle. So you have uh, heat, and that's what we'll start with. You've got to have some sort of fuel, and then you have oxygen. So with those three components, you can get combustion. To get the heat in the 18th century without uh, lighters or matches, um, you'd use a flint and steel. So this is a piece of flint. Flint is a naturally occurring stone that when it breaks, it breaks with very sharp, jagged edges. And then with a piece of steel, if I strike the steel against that sharp edge, the sharp edge peels off little bits of the steel and the friction of breaking them off uh, makes them white hot. And so you get sparks and you see the sparks from the flint and steel. So with my flint and steel, uh, I'll take a little bit of the char cloth and I'll set it right along the sharp edge of the flint. And the trick then is to get a spark to roll back and land on that char cloth. And maybe you can see there, I've got the char cloth burning. It just smolders. So now I'll wrap it up in this dried uh, rope. That gives me my flame, and then with the flame I can light a candle. All right, when we go to the, uh, the larger fire, um, let's, let me move this out of the way and you can see uh, what we've got here. Uh, in a blacksmith's forge, we have a pit where we build the fire, and we have a bellows that provides the oxygen. So you can see when I pull on the bellows, the air enters through this nozzle, um, and so I'll need to assemble the fire in front of that. I'll bring in my fuel, which is coal, and sort of surround it around that nozzle. Now, coal doesn't light uh, easily. <clears throat> um, it takes a little uh, accelerant, so I've, I'm going to take some wood shavings here from our friends in the cabinet maker shop. I've also broken up some heavier kindling. So we're going from things that are easy to ignite but only produce a little bit of heat, the char cloth, now the candle. Now I'm gonna take the candle flame and I'll transfer that to the wood shavings. You see they burn easily but they'll burn up quickly. So to sustain that fire I'll add some smaller kindling, just like building a campfire. You see how quickly the wood shavings uh, catch fire. Add the kindling and now push the coal in around that to start to uh, contain the fire. And now uh, we'll add a lot of oxygen and it will really take off. So you see how the bellows is adding the oxygen. As we start a fire, you'll also see uh, that uh, before the fire builds up heat, you get incomplete combustion. So that means you produce a lot of smoke. And as the fire gets hotter, you'll get more complete combustion. And that means we'll have more flame and less smoke. Another scientific principle that you notice is that uh, hot air rises. And you hear how when that uh, air blast stops, you don't get as vigorous uh, combustion, so it doesn't make that same roar as it does when you're fanning it. So with uh, some simple elements, with a flint, a steel, a little bit of char cloth, some kindling, and then coal as our fuel, that's the way we'd start the morning every day. We're applying the science of combustion uh, to the work that we do here.